Matthew Hatton, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to Into Boxing. Uh, Camel Hatton back out next week. Uh, it's a big fight for him, third fight. Just talk to us a little bit about his preparation. Preparation has been fantastic. Um, I always stress to Campbell it's important that he gets better with it each fight. Regardless of who he's fighting for each camp, he needs to get that little bit stronger, that little bit fitter, that little bit better all round, and that's certainly been the case. And uh, again, I always sing Campbell's praises about his attitude towards train training. And it's been superb again. So, uh, as his coach, no complaints whatsoever, and uh, expecting a good performance next week. We said that after his first fight, we sat back here, watched it back, and you were saying you wanted to see little improvements, you wanted to see this tweaked and that tweaked. Do you think you saw those improvements in the second fight? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I think it's quite widely recognised there were some big improvements weren't they the the debut we've covered that before you know big expectations it was all new to him and he is only human so uh, it was a big big improvement in his second fight he's capable of you know we've only just scratched the surface you know it's early days he's only fighting four rounds and like I always say we'll see the best of Campbell over the next two years but we want to see we want to see improvement with every fight and I'm, I'm confident and sure that we'll see that again next week The expectation, the, the media attention, the, the, the focus he's getting on him on social media and everything, do you think he's, do you think he's easing into that now? Because like you say, the debut was maybe a bit of a culture shock, but now, now we're a few months down the line from that. Is he easing into it a bit more? Absolutely. You know, you, you learn as you go along. You learn how to deal with the training, the workload, the, the training and the media commitments. Obviously, it's different for Campbell for a lot of other fighters starting out and it was just so big. I mean, I always knew it would be big when Campbell turned professional, but I, it shocked me uh, quite the obligations that he had to fulfil there. But he handled it really well. He come through the fight, and he's getting used to it now. Um, and uh, yeah, he's he's handling everything really, really well. How are you both finally training in this heat? We took some shots outside before, and it was pretty warm. Yeah, pretty warm, and uh, <laughs> like I say, good to get outside and train sometimes. Uh, you know, training can get monotonous for any fighter you know so a change of scenery is good that's why we get out and about to different gyms you know great weather out there and uh, getting some uh, some good graft out there and uh, you've got to be cruel to be kind sometimes <laughs> Chrissy I think mean, he used to really like his uncle Matt till he started, <laughs> till I started training him but uh, he's really coming on it's for his own benefit and um, we've always trained hard you know he's a hat and we've always been well conditioned and, and Campbell will be no different and he's certainly ready for next week <laughs> Next week is fight camp. It's a it's another big card for Campbell to be on. There's, there's fans in there. Okay, it's not capacity stadium, but it's it's still the introduction of a of a good number of fans. Just talk to us about the card first before we speak about uh, about Campbell on it. What do you think of, of, of fight camp and, and the card as a whole? Well, I've made no secret. Um, you know, fight camp last year it was great during lockdown. Once it there was boxing going on uh, during lockdown, but that's the thing that stands out to mm. me. Um, fair play to match room it was fantastic and like I say I've boxed all over the world I've been all, all over the world to, to different shows and I'm excited to go next yeah. week myself so how Campbell feels about it I'm sure he's very excited but it's a great bill um, really looking forward to the experience I've all made no secret I'm a big fan of Conor Ben so I'm really looking forward to watching him too do you think you have to, to handle uh, handle Campbell differently now because there are fans in there? Do, do you have to get that into his mindset? There's more people there watching you in the ring or does that not come into your conversation? No, not at all. You know, he, he boxed in front of a small crowd in, in Gibraltar. Um, bizarre experience last time at the MEN, you know, in a huge arena um, with nobody in there. So, no, it's going to be a small crowd. You know, Campbell's boxed in front of the crowd, obviously, in the amateurs in Gibraltar. Yeah. So our approach to this isn't any different, really. Uh, and just finally, is, is everything ticking over to, to plan, if you like? How many more times do you want to get him out in the near future? How far, how far ahead do you plan with Campbell's career? Again, it's one of them sports, boxing. You can pick up an injury like that, can't you? So, you know, sometimes your best laid plans go out the window. You might get an injury, mm -hmm. could get caught and stuff like that. And that's not being a, a pessimist. That's just the reality of yeah, the yeah. sport of boxing. Um, Campbell's fighting again, obviously, end of July. Um, we would like him to fight again in September. So, in an ideal scenario, I see Campbell boxing three more times this year. 
I asked you very quickly outside, do you not miss it? Do you not miss the training in this heat? After watching them boys today, <laughs> no. I mean, everything has its shelf life and I was a professional for a long time, a lot of fights, and I do get asked that question a lot. No, I don't. And that is, <laughs> that is the honest answer. I don't miss the day-to-day -day slog. I don't miss the diet. The thing I miss as any sportsman is the excitement, the build-up to the fight. But I get that now through getting in, you know, not the same, of course, but I get that now with the fighters that I train and I'm all very close to, and even more so with Campbell being part of the family. So, uh, you know, I'm still getting my kicks out of boxing. <laughs> Matt, cheers, mate. Appreciate no the time. No problem.